Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Your family traditions, culture, and stories are your legacy. So is your health history. Join the All of Us Research Program and share your health information. Through research, your legacy can help build a healthier future for all of us. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening in Birmingham today. I've got the honor and pleasure of a good friend, Mr. Jerry Mitchell with the Alabama State Black Chamber. Jerry, how are you doing today? Great, sir, and yourself? Great, great. Well, I want to bring Jerry on today to talk about the upcoming Entrepreneurs and Innovators Conference coming up on June the 15th, which is probably this time of taping um, next week. So, Jerry, tell me a little more about it. Okay, well, um, we've been doing this since uh, 2014, so we're almost 10 years doing this thing now. Uh, we think we've we finally perfected it. One of the things that we started doing about um, four years ago, um, we're trying to keep the dollars that we spend primarily in the black community. So we moved it from the traditional venues of having it at hotels and different places like that. And we moved over to um, the uh, Inslee area uh, and some of the facilities owned by attorney uh, Antonio Sperling. And so this year on June 15th and 16th, which is a Thursday, Friday, uh, on 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 um, Thursday, we run from 845 to uh, 430. And on um, Friday, we run from 845 to about 130. Uh, but we'll be over in the Tuxedo Ballroom, which is at 2001 Avenue D. It's a great facility. Uh, we held it last year there for the first time. And uh, it is truly what it says. It is an entrepreneurs and innovators conference because we'll have over uh, 16 different presenters on a variety of topics, uh, all, all dealing with things that are there to help your businesses or to cause you to think, cause you to want to uh, innovate, be creative, that kind of thing. So, so we're looking to have a real great time. Uh, all my speakers are fired up about it. Uh, so we have both local area and around the state of Alabama, as well as um, outside of the state speakers with speakers coming as far away as uh, uh, Indianapolis and uh, um, Chicago and those kind of places like that. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, looking. Uh, traditionally, we have around 200 attendees uh, there, um, and it's going to be some great information, and it's going to be a great environment because one of the things we we like to tell people is uh, come to the Entre Entrepreneurs and Innovators Conference and get some love, get some of that good old black love, <laughs> and uh, uh, get you know some culture, get nurtured. But then get some really super great information, and so we're so we're really proud about that. And most of the time when people come to our conference, they say, you know, your conference is a little different from other conferences that we've been to. So we not only talk about business topics, but on the first day we kick off our morning sessions with what we call our community topics. So we talk about things that impact our communities, but may not necessarily be solely geared toward business. For example, uh, we're going to have our friends from. Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency there, and they're going to talk about uh, the com the community and environmental justice. And you know, when it comes to environmental justice, it hits our communities very hard. Uh, you see a lot of uh, situations like uh, what we've had in Birmingham, where we had some environmental concerns with the contamination of grounds where people live. Uh, you can go to Lowndes County. Uh, you see a sewage that is contaminated thing, uh, and 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 um, you can go to other cities where things have been placed, and we wind up living in those areas and getting sick. And they're going to talk about how you can pull together as a community and and do some things about that thing. Another topic that we're going to have that morning is called bridging art and agriculture. So I have a gentleman; he's coming over from Georgia. Uh, he's an artist. He's a gourd artist. And if you've ever seen any of his gourd sculpture, he's 
he sells this thing and it's exhibited all over the world. He's like an international artist. And, uh, but what he did over in a rural area in Georgia, he created uh, this huge community garden. And as he started, uh, people saw what he was doing over the years. So they kept giving him land. So he probably has about 60 acres now. So if you take a, an area view of this thing, it looks like a painting from the air. It's, it's, it's really cool. And so then, you know, um, so we're going to talk about um, uh, also that one things like the power of credit and how the influence of credit on your your life in general, on your business, uh, how how it impacts so many um, decisions that we make or or our ability to do certain things in our lives. So so those are just more general topics. But then um, um, during the day, uh, we're gonna talk. We're gonna have a marketing session. Uh, we're gonna have one session called uh, "How Do You Find Paid Speaking Engagements?" And no, Jarvis, you probably would be interested in that because our speaker is gonna tell you you know, how you lock those down. And she's all gonna, also going to provide a list of several hundreds of places that are, are hiring speakers right now for two to $7,000 a pop just for you to come out and speak. So I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm in, in attendance on that. Um, and so we've got different things like that, what we'll be talking about. We're going to be talking about cybersecurity and some of the current nuances and how that affects you as a business owners. Um, so it's just a, it's just a, a, a number of things that we're going to cover. So we believe that we have something that's going to be of interest to everybody. And the other thing I like about it is the fact that uh, we're going to have business owners uh, from around the state, because, because, you know, the Alabama state black chamber is a collection of black chambers around the state of Alabama. So we're going to have folks from Huntsville. We're going to have folks from Mobile. Oh, we're going to have folks from Tuscaloosa. We're going to have people from East Alabama to Auburn, the Auburn, Opelika, Phoenix City area. We're going to have folks from down in the Wiregrass area from Troy and Dothan, where we where we have our chambers, also over in uh, the Gadsden, Aniston area. So it's going to be a variety of people all coming to Birmingham to try to connect with each other. And so we're going to be encouraging people, you know, even though you may have come with some folks from Birmingham, we're going to tell you, don't sit with those people. Go over and sit with somebody from Huntsville. Yeah. Or go over and sit with somebody from, from Auburn, Opelika. Try to make those connections and, and, you know, expand what you do. Okay. And, you know, one thing I just want to add as well, like you said, it gives you an opportunity to network with people you normally wouldn't network with. Right. right. So where do they go if they want to purchase tickets for it? Um, they can go to our website. Uh, it's www.alblackcc.org. So it's and as soon as you get that website, a, a big poster will pop up and it'll say 2023 uh, Entrepreneurs and Innovators Conference. You just click on that and the registration form is is there. Uh, the registration. May I say the amount on 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 the program? I mean, I, I mean, I mean. Jarvis is so low, I'm embarrassed to almost to even say it. It's, <laughs> it's darn near free, man. I oh. mean, if if you can if you can find a a conference that's for two days that's cheaper than this, please call me. I want to. If you can yeah. find one, call, call me and I'll 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 send you. I'll pay for your registration if you show me one. But it's only hundred and thirty five dollars. And I know, and I know you're gonna feed us. And, and going to feed you, you gonna, you know, we got a luncheon. Yeah. Uh, we've got a luncheon speaker, Dr. Royston. She's coming in from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, mm -hmm. She hosts a radio program on, on the Envision Network, which is a, uh, a gospel radio platform. Um, and uh, this lady is, has uh, written over 80 books. And oh. she, she has uh, a couple of publishing companies and some other companies. Uh, uh, so she's going to talk during our luncheon, uh, on, on the second day, we have our awards breakfast where we're going to be, um, honoring some outstanding individuals and organizations from around the state of Alabama. Um, and doing that, we're going to have my good friend, uh, uh, who Mr. Uh, Michael T. Hill, who's the chairperson of the Southern Region Economic Council, which is the Southern Region Economic Council is a collective of seven states, uh, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, mm -hmm. uh, and Mississippi and Florida. 
that where they pull this thing together to deal with the economics of of the black community in the southern region. So part of that collective includes not only black chambers, it includes the faith based community, it, mm -hmm. it includes several uh, politicians, namely uh, uh, county commissioners and city councilmen and the like from those different states, as well as a few state representatives. Uh, and then it, then it covers also our community uh, civic organization like our NAACP branches, um, our divine nine uh, groups and the different things that have gone on. So he's pulled all of them together. He's had uh, last two years over a thousand meetings with all of those groups. So he's got some great information uh, and it's put together to allow us to formulate some different strategies. Uh, we got some great sponsors uh, as always. Very happy to have uh, our good friends at Alabama Power, uh, PNC Bank, Valley Bank, uh, our friends over at uh, UAB Collapse School, School of Business, uh, the great Alabama A&M University, mm -hmm. uh, some, some local small business owners, Studio 2, 2H Design, uh, uh, Mr. Landa Hatcher, great architectural firm, uh, ADS Wealth Management down in Hoover run by uh, the multi great multi-millionaire, Mr. Antonio Sankey, uh, also from the Huntsville area, uh, Credit One USA, which is run by attorney um, Maurice Scott, who also is a, a key figure on uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville. And um, so we're just excited. Uh, and, and hopefully I hadn't left out any of the sponsors, you know, but but I charge it to, to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not to my heart. No, 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 I mean, I think you speak straight off, you know, straight off the dome with this one. Uh, right, right, but I'm right. I'm definitely right. coming next Thursday or Friday. I'm definitely going to be in the place. You me. need to, Jarvis. I'm telling you, you need to come both days. You know, you can't because if you if you come one day, you're gonna miss something that you probably needed to hear. Because because on Friday we're gonna be talking about. I got this this uh company coming out of Atlanta. They're awesome. They're gonna tell you how to get into this multi-billion dollar government government contracting get I mean multi-billion dollars mm -hmm. and this speaker has taken folks that were not doing government contracting and gotten them multi-million dollar contracts uh just help them uh to develop and position themselves to get um um she had one young lady who was doing had a real estate company over in Atlanta mm -hmm. the lady got into the program and right at the gate she got a 14 point Five million dollar contract right out of the gate is is awesome. It's oh awesome. wow! Yeah, and so and so my friends, uh, you guys are the nonprofits. We got something for y'all too. So so we've got a, a segment on nonprofit fundraising specifically for nonprofits. Nonprofit got uh, a speaker who's an expert in the area. He's been doing it for years. He's gotten all kind of grants. He can tell you where to find the money. Can tell you how to position yourself. Tell you how to how to create a capital funding campaign for your nonprofit, all those kind of things. So it's going to, I mean, it's really going to be fantastic. So I almost wish I could split myself up and go to all the sessions, but I'm going to have to pick and choose. Plus I'll be working too. So I won't get to do everything I might like to do. All right. Well, mention that website one, one more time. For them, they yeah. The website, go to www.alblackcc.org. That's a l B L A C K C C dot org. And also you're gonna see the text on here as well. But I like you know, yeah, or you can call me at uh you can call us at uh 205-895-1157, 205-895-1157, or you can email us at info I N F O at A L Black cc.org info at alblackcc.org and we so we look forward to having having you there you know we got room enough for you the um uh the tuxedo ballroom is a great place to have an event uh you know we as i said we try to support our black businesses so we have not yet we're we're hoping to get a hundred percent black spin at some point right now we're at 87 percent and the only reason only reason we can't get to 100 really and truly is because uh, we that Jarvis, you have not opened up a black owned hotel in, in Birmingham. If you do that, mm -hmm. then we'll put all our speakers at your hotel. But we had to use a hotel that what was not part of the family. 
And that's the only reason we can't get 100%, Jarvis. So Why I need not you your issue. You do, you're doing some of the in most corporations. So you. <laughs> hey, hey. A whole other subject. Um, but, um, Jerry, thanks for coming on today. Okay, well, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I look, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday and Friday, Jarvis. I'm gonna put your name down. Okay. I'm gonna tell him you come. We're gonna be on the lookout for you. Okay. Uh, uh, so you need to just clear your schedule and come on, hang out with us the whole day, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. I'm looking forward to hearing all the topics. So thank you all for watching this video. Please check out what's happening Birmingham.com for more interviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the. YouTube channel and check out the audio version of this on Apple Podcasts. Thank you all again. Have a great day and let's come out next Thursday and Friday for the 2023 Entrepreneurs and Innovators Conference. Thank you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website app or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.